Hi everybody, it's Julia here. I am, I am back with a new project to share with you. This time I got some inspiration. Well, actually, it was a few months ago, actually, I made this video. And I've just gotten around to actually posting it. Um, but I really like this project. And I, I sort of look at it every day, so I don't even think about it because I see it every day. And I realize I have actually not edited it. So... My inspiration was partly a painting I did years ago that I have up in my room and uh, I thought it would be really fun to do the painting again but using papers. And then also from Hey Elsie here on YouTube, she does a lot of these paper piecing with embroidery and I really like that. So I thought, why not? Why not combine the two? Um, so yeah. Uh, I do a lot, not a lot, but I do embroidery uh, and I do that on my scrapbook pages from time to time um, and I really like the result of it. So here I decided to pull out uh, the Cella V collection, what I had left of it. Uh, as we speak right now, I don't have anything left from it, but um, it is one of my favorite collections, like all time. And the sad part is um, I got the ephemera and the 6x6 pad and some stickers. That was all I got from this collection and I'm still a bit upset. I still want the papers. <laughs> um, but you know, so la vie. Uh, but I've used it on this page and now I can look at it every day and it makes me really happy when I look at it. So that's really good. What I did was I wanted, like I said, inspiration from my painting I made before. And there are three houses, but I made four here. And um, yeah, so I just took different papers that I thought went well together and made little houses using the different pieces. And I used uh, mostly my scissors, but also some punches. I think I used a two inch round punch to make the, um, the window and the door. Um, and then I just tack it down really because I'm going to stitch around everything. So I pulled out embroidery thread that would good match. So you can see that I have matched the colors. And what I want to do next is add a sentiment. And I will add in Swedish, home sweet home. And then the little hearts are punched out with the Lawn Fawn heart die from wood veneer paper. Or sticky back wood. I don't know what you call it. It is like wood veneer but on the sticky back. And it is amazing. It is so easy to work with. I really like it. So I thought it would be really cute to have that poking out from the chimney. Um, and I will just add this uh, home sweet home, but it's not home sweet home, it's Juva Hem, Hem Juva Hem, that is Swedish. Uh, and I really like these black thickers, it's not thickers because it's Pink Fresh Studio, but you know what I mean. And then I picked these white ones so they wouldn't be quite so stark and I didn't have any. Now I think I might you could have used the um, figures from Maggie Holmes new collection because they have big and small letters in the same pack so that could be really nice actually. But here I used the white ones. Um, they're not terribly obvious and you still get a bit of texture and I really like that because you get some uh, fabric on these figures and you have some thread in the houses and all that so I really liked it. Um, it could have been done right now but I'm going to add some pink splatters with the highly shine in pink <laughs> and that is it. So here you can see it's dried and I put some corners up and now I'm just going to frame it and I have this frame from Prima. I went to a workshop with Frank Garcia years and years and years ago um, and we got this we made a, like a mixed media thing and then we got this frame so I have had that other layout in there forever I love it it was a bit hard I have to say to change it out but I really like this piece so I'm going to show you how it looked when it was in my studio my painting studio and you can see it is filmed oh yes going to remove the moves and here it is. Do you like it? I don't know. Maybe we should flip it around on my gallery wall. Uh, it actually isn't in my studio anymore. It's back in my room uh, next to my scrapbooking desk because I like to watch it. <laughs> I don't know really. I think I took it in so I could photograph it. Um, 
But yeah, I, I really like this. So it might be moving out again. Who knows? But yeah. So here you can see the gallery wall of my studio. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Bad camera. Okay. Here we go. Here's how it looks in real light. I hope you have liked this really speedy process. Um, I really like this project. I hope you like it too.